Well, g'day everybody and welcome back to the Swiss Alps. Uh, I just realised that we don't have a, um, we don't have ourselves a, uh, let's see, I need to detach that. Uh, let's see, that one there. I'm just, uh, I'm just getting used to, uh, oh no, that's not the one we wanted. I'm just getting used to, uh, to using my steering wheel again. I've got my steering wheel hooked up. Uh, I also have my side panel, so it's gonna, it's gonna take me a little while, I think, to get used to it. Again, um, it's definitely gonna take me time to get used to the side panel and the controls that I've got set for the side panel, so... Uh, you'll have to bear with me a little bit for that. Uh, now let's see, we need to, yep, we need to do the bailing on that field. I also need to get ourselves some um, uh, some pallet forks as well. So uh, that is on the agenda now. There we go. Oh, it's so nice to have the steering wheel back. So nice to have the steering wheel back. I just got to get used to it now. There we go around the corner here. Yes, we have indicators. We have indicators now. Um, so yeah, let's get some bailing done on that field. Uh, let's grab ourselves some pallet forks as well, uh, which we don't have. We've only got ten thousand three hundred in the bank, so we do need to we do need to watch our bickies a little bit. I think we may uh, we may have to sell some of these bales that we do. So, uh, which is no drama. We can do that. That's no worries at all. Uh, let's see. Lovely, lovely. Uh, now, okay, so we do have uh, we do have fertilizer still down here as well as. Um, all right, okay, it's worth uh, it's worth noting there. Now I do need to remember. I'm pretty sure that I said a uh, a pause track. No, that one's that one. I thought that I said a pause track. A, a, a pause. There we go. Yep, just getting used to everything. <laughs> I thought I set a pause button, so uh, what I might do is I might actually go in and set a pause button for the track IR. I think might be a good idea. Okay, anyway, guys, sorry about that. Just messing around. Uh, what have we got here? We've got some seed. We've got some. Uh, we've got some fertilizer here, and we've got some liquid fertilizer, and we have some more of that. So. Uh, I might take one of these back with us, which uh, which kind of makes most sense, doesn't it, really, to be honest. So let's, uh, oh, no, let's not do that. Let's uh, run into there and open the shop menu. What do we need? We need uh, front loader and we need some pallet forks. So uh, let's just get uh, completely black ones of those. We'll buy those. Yes, thank you very much. And uh, we probably could have bought those second hand, but uh, which probably would have been a little bit wiser rather than paying a thousand dollars for them, wouldn't it? Um, but anyway, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, so uh, let's see. Put that back on. There we go. That's a little bit better. I did change. Uh, I changed my pause button and I changed my reset button as well so that was pretty cool uh let's see it's it's nice to actually be uh it's nice to actually be back with track ir as well in the game um as i said i normally get i, I normally get a bit of a uh, i normally get like a bit of a, a stiff uh a bit of a stiff neck um to say the least when i use uh, when i use track ir because i always try and hold my head really really steady but um, that's okay. I'll try not to do that. I shall try not to do that. So if you guys like the track IR, let me know. Uh, let's see. Using the uh, side panel as well for the uh, for the control of the pallet forks, which is going to take a little bit of getting used to. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, setting it. I've, I've set. I've set the side panel up. Um, uh, the Cytec side panel up very very similar to um, uh, to how I have my joystick set up as well so uh, let's see now uh, beacon lights no they're front lights 
beacon lights should be about there I think let me uh, let me just check that yes that is my beacon lights that is the button that I set for them guys excellent all right off we go perfect now I'm pretty sure I set a button up here somewhere it's, it's gonna take me so long it's gonna take me so long to to do this see just pressing buttons with my uh, pressing buttons with my wrist and everything there we go spin you around there beautiful okay turn you off that should be right I did I reckon I I reckon I said a uh, I reckon I set a button here as well for uh... no 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 <laughs> No, no, no. Okay, all right. There's a button here somewhere that I oh crap that I actually set for um <laughs> for uh oh was it hazard lights and I can't remember what it was. So there you go. I don't think I got a weight on the back of this. I probably should have. I, I forgot that we had stuff down there, so I probably should have put a weight on, but uh, unfortunately I didn't. So. I don't know how many bales we're going to get off that field either. <clears throat> I'm not sure. But uh, we will see. We will see when we get to it. Just watch this big bump there. Lift prob that's probably lifted the back wheels off. But, uh, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Where are we going to put this stuff? This stuff does not need to be... It doesn't need to be... Um, yeah, I might throw it here, I think. Um, yeah, it doesn't need to be in the uh, sort of undercover, so I think we might uh, we might stick it there. I reckon. There we go, beautiful. And uh, we'll grab this one. This one here, we're probably going to fill. Probably actually going to fill that up. I reckon. So uh, what we might do is uh, we might fill we might attach that and fill that up I don't know whether we've got any fertilizer in it I'm guessing we've got fertilizer in it so we may have to empty the fertilizer and sort that out as well uh, let's see all I need to do now is get drive control uh, get drive control back into the game as well so uh, let's see we'll, we'll attach that there uh, yeah, that has liquid fertilizer in it, so. Uh, so what we might do, we'll unload the... Oh, I don't know whether we're going to need fertilizer or not. That's, that's the thing, isn't it? So, I might, uh, I might can that idea and I might just push this out of the way. Try and push this up onto the flat a little bit over here, hopefully scrape it along the ground it's a little bit uh there we go that's it's a little bit dodgy a little bit dodgy i know but uh <clears throat> it is what it is uh let's see i need to go over to that now beautiful all right so we'll pick this up um and we'll put this under cover i know it's a lot of stuffing around guys and i do apologize we will get to some uh we will get to some or, or though i guess this is farming isn't it this is exactly what farming is. It's a lot of stuffing around. A lot of doing bits and pieces and getting stuff done on the farm and making sure that everything's okay, so... So I shouldn't really apologise for it, should I? I'm giving you a complete and utter farming experience. Okay, that's probably not on very, very well. It looks like it's going to slide down on there. Beautiful. Uh, there we go. Lovely. Uh, yeah. So until I get used to uh, until I get used to how I've got everything set up in regards to uh, the side panel and remembering all my steering wheel settings and all that type of stuff, then what I might do is uh, I'll probably uh, keep this um, controls panel up on the side there. So. All right. So some people have suggested that uh, that that we do go with the. Uh, don't do that, don't do that. 
some people have suggested that we do go with the um, uh, with a, a larger horse paddock as well as the training yard so uh, that might be that might be something that uh, that we will probably look at I do believe so all right lovely so we're gonna go over here uh, the horses and everything should be okay because I'm pretty sure it was morning when we uh, when we did that last time wasn't it something like that uh, when we when we actually put those in so uh, let's see turn you off and out we go all right perfect uh, so we'll just have a quick squiz at those they should be okay um, they should be okay for the day yes because it was this morning that we put them all in so we do need to get some more oats in the ground as soon as we possibly can as I said they won't really go through those oats um, as much as you would think that they would so um, so they should be all right there I think um, we should be okay until we've got the uh, next lot of oats in and we've harvested those so fingers crossed I don't know how that's going to go when we get more uh, when we get more uh, horses but what we might do is uh, once we've got all of this organized and we've got our oats in the ground uh, we might look for some uh, oats harvesting contracts perhaps I think that might be might be an idea uh, it might be a, a valuable thing to do so there we go we'll get you done beautiful okay perfect uh, let's head down to the field and we will start this baling off and all of these tool functions and everything that uh, that they give you all the tool function options and all that that they give you are, are a bit of a pain in the butt to be honest tool function one tool function two what happened to turn tool on turn tool off and all that type of stuff but uh, so be it there it is all right so we should be able to cruise through here relatively quickly to be honest I reckon uh, without actually stopping now I have a cruise control set up on here which is right there and I also have a cruise control function as well uh, which allows me to uh, to increase and decrease uh, what I'm using so uh, or how fast I'm going which is pretty cool that's uh, one of the awesome things on this side panel actually but uh, I'll let you know how this side panel goes because uh, quite honestly uh, until I, this is the very first time that I've used it which hence is why I'm messing around with it a lot but um, it is uh, I'm hoping that it'll be absolutely awesome. I'm looking forward to having front uh, front loader operation and stuff again, and having the ability to move forwards and backwards in the tractor while I'm operating the uh, loader arm. Because what I did find with the uh, with the Xbox controller is I actually enjoyed using the Xbox controller. To be honest, um, it is actually quite cool. The problem with it was though, um, you couldn't operate the tool the uh, front loader. Uh, while you were moving, well, while you're moving forwards and backwards, you kind of could if you had, um, oh, I don't know, an extra two or three fingers or something. Um, but unfortunately, um, you couldn't do it uh, while you're moving because you were using your triggers and stuff like that, and it was sort of too difficult to maintain a decent speed and stuff. Whereas uh, when I was using my joystick. For the uh, front loader arm and now that i'm using the side panel for the fr front loader arm then uh, i can actually and at my well, well in combination with the steering wheel um, and my pedals then i can actually move while i'm operating the front loader arm which uh, becomes really really intuitive after a while so uh, it'll probably take me a little bit longer to get back into it but um but we will see how it goes so all right, we are nearly there on uh, on our first run, so I'm not sure how many bales we're going to get off of this. Uh, let's see. Just uh, get around here and try and get this stuff. There we go, that should be okay. Like that, and then I think I'll, uh, I'll reverse this up. 
Yeah, I'll just reverse it up here and we'll grab, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go down this run just here in front of us. Uh, let's see. There we go, don't want to ruin that baler by running it into a tree or anything. What's going on with you, track IR? You've undone yourself. All right, perfect. There you go. All right, so I hope that, I hope you're enjoying this series. Um, as I said, you know, in my farm series, I'm not usually rushed to do anything. Um, I, I do it as it comes. I take my time doing it, and uh, I'm never sort of in a hurry to to make a hundred million dollars uh, in in sort of in ten episodes and stuff like that. You know, I don't record an episode for four hours and chop it into a 30-minute episode. I normally, um, I normally record probably about an hour uh, and chop that down. So, um, uh, yeah, so I'm not sort of spending three or four hours um, uh, just doing a whole pile of stuff and then chopping all that down into one episode and getting a whole pile of... Uh, heaps and heaps of jobs done and heaps and heaps of uh, money coming in so uh, I hope you're enjoying this playstyle. let me know if you are or let me know if you'd like to see it sort of more cut up uh, as opposed to you know sitting here watching me uh, run a baler which is uh, which is what we're doing now but I mean you know if, if if you guys are into farm sim and you're into farming and stuff I mean this is this is the, ultimately what farming's like isn't it you know, you might spend a day out on the baler and, uh, you know, a day out spraying or, you know, a few days out on the baler and then you've got to pick all your bales up and so, so I guess it's kind of what it's like. So, and it's part of what I really, really, really enjoy about, um, about farm sim is, uh, I just enjoy how relaxing it is. It just relaxes me. You know, I don't feel like... I don't feel like I'm in a hurry, you know, if I'm playing a survival game, um, then, or, 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 you know, some other genre, then I kind of feel like I'm in a hurry a lot, and, uh, you know, I need to get things done, and I have to, you know, like for a survival game, I need to make fire, I need to find food, I need to do this, I need to do that, but, uh, in Farm Sim, it's like okay, yeah, I need to get this. Uh, I need to get this bailing done. But you're kind of not. Um, I'm kind of not sitting here going, oh, you know, oh, it's, oh, I've, I've, I've just desperately got to get it done. I'm actually doing the bailing, and it's relaxing because it takes it takes this amount of time to do. If you know what I mean, like, um, yeah, it, it's it's a little bit more intense when seasons when you've got seasons running, most definitely, but. Um, uh, when you when you you know you're desperately trying to like for example in my new wood shear, uh, which I've only done one episode of, which is my super super realistic one that I'm doing, um, I I think we're on the almost the last day of uh, being able to get our corn in the ground, and it's absolutely pouring rain, and the temperature still isn't quite right, so. Um, you know, so I'm starting to get a little, little bit not not stressed, but uh, I'm starting to get um, I'm starting to get to the point where I'm going, oh, what am I going to do? How am I going to do it? Uh, am I going to risk it and actually seed um, seed in the wet and uh, and out of temperature and hope that it germinates? I had to do that on my other crops in that as well, which was. Um, which is a bit scary, so I don't know what the uh, what the yield next season is going to be like. So uh, whether I'm going to uh, have sort of completely and utterly destroyed a couple of crops there for the year, I don't know, guys. But we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, again, that series is something that um, that series is actually something that I'm going to do. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pump out lots and lots of episodes. I'm going to go in there uh, when I feel like going in there and uh, and just run an episode uh, and just basically film what I'm doing, uh, what I'm doing in my uh, in my sort of personal play. So that's uh, that's the plan with that one, guys. 
Uh, I know that there were a couple of people that uh, that were quite happy about uh, and and quite liked the idea of, of, of seeing something that realistic and uh, and sort of uh, that relaxed and that unrushed. So, which again is something that I hope you guys really really enjoy um, about um, about my playstyle in farming sim and stuff. So. Uh, also, let me know in the comments what you would prefer uh, in regards to now that I've got my track IR set up again and all that type of stuff. Would you prefer um, mainly in cab stuff, or would you prefer maybe for this series? I know that my realistic series is going to be in cab, the stuff in New Woodshire, but uh, but in uh, in in the Swiss Alps here, would you prefer that uh, that I did external stuff or? or internal stuff sort of let me know what you think of that because uh because i'd like I, i'd like to know i mean i can certainly not use track ir in this um i can certainly sort of pause track ir and uh and do stuff outside of the cab for you easy enough so which i i may do i mean i've been doing most of it out of the cab um in this series anyway so in fact a fair bit of it out of the cab but uh, obviously time lapses uh, when I do do time lapses uh, they're definitely going to need to be out in outside view or otherwise it's going to make you guys super super sick <laughs> uh, a time lapse inside the cab is uh, is an absolute nightmare so Let's uh, spin this around here. There we go. All right, perfect. So we're nearly done. As I said, I'm not exactly sure how many bales uh, we, we've got out of this. So we're going to have to do a uh, we're going to have to do a little bit of a bale count and see how we go. See what we've done. It is a very small field, and uh, it's definitely going to. Um, it's definitely going to be enough to uh, to keep our horses going, I think, both on oats and on bales. So uh, definitely on straw bales. Definitely on straw bales. I'm still planning on uh, buying in our hay, so so we'll buy in the hay. That's no worries at all. Um, I think, as I said, I think with the uh, with the cost of with the cost of hay. Um, then the chances are that, um, uh, like, like, you know, with the, when you consider the cost of hay in comparison to the, uh, to the profit that you make on a horse, then, um, then, you know, it's probably, uh, it's, it's not that much of an expense. I mean, we're doing the straw ourselves, we're doing the oats ourselves, so, um, to throw in hay there should be pretty fine. All right, beautiful. Nearly done here. That is spot on. Uh, looks like we've got a bale just popped into the second chamber as well, so that should be okay. Uh, let's see. Last little bit here. And then we'll see if I can remember the buttons and the controls for it. Perfect. Okay, so this should raise. Yes, it does. Uh, it's just the one button. Okay. I thought these were toggle buttons. That should turn it off, which it does. And I'm not sure what that button does, but I know that I programmed it to do something. I don't know whether we can actually unload these, this bale. Um, I thought I had... Uh, oh no, I mustn't have on this one. I was going to say, I thought I had um, unfinished bale on this one. The unfinished bale mod. Um, for, for those of you that don't know what the unfinished bale mod is, it's, it's a mod that allows you to... Um, you know, if you've got sort of over 2,000 litres in a 4,000 litre bale, it allows you to um, to unload that bale, so it'll be a 2,000 litre bale. So, uh, let's see. 
Let's go and put this back. Toggle that off. Lovely. Here we go, get used to uh, backing with the steering wheel again, which is actually a lot easier than backing with a uh, than backing a trailer with a uh, with a controller. The controller is so much more sensitive. So, all right, let's uh, detach that. We'll head over here, and uh, we're going to check out what status this grass field is on, uh, and see how we go with that as well. Let's see, I knew that I forgot to turn something off there. Okay, we'll jump out of there. I forgot to turn the beacon off in this. Uh, the beacon's off in that, yes they are. Uh, which is uh, lighting panel, that one there should be the beacons. <gasps> I got it right, I got it right. All right, beautiful. Let's uh, just head over to our grass field over here. Um, until we, f until we sell the first lot of horses, I'm not overly sure uh, whether we're going to put another yard in there or not at this point in time. So, uh, let's see. Uh, this is saying that it is ready to harvest. What's it saying on the map? Uh, let's see, growth. Where are we? We're up here. Oh, I need to turn grass on. Fruit types, grass and growth. Uh, yeah, definitely. It's at the first stage, so we might wait until it gets to the second stage. We're probably going to have to run that uh, in the next episode, I would say, which is going to keep us pretty busy because we need to do that, and we also need to um, we also need to get some uh, seed down in this down in this field down here that we've just done. Let's have a look at what we've done with our uh, in regards to our stats as well. And we've got uh, we've got some contracts here that I wouldn't mind doing. So uh, I may actually employ somebody to do some contracts for me, um, and that is you know setting them up and getting them running and hiring an employee to run those contracts. It takes a bit of the money out um, of um, of what you actually earn, but uh, on some of these ones like these larger sewing ones and uh, uh, stuff like that, then it's actually not too bad. You still sort of make, you know, a thousand bucks or something. So uh, it does work out being um, being worthwhile. So this session we created 10 bales. So we've got 10 bales out of this. Um, as soon as we get um, this top field here done, uh, we're going to have probably another 60 or 70 grand as well, which we can uh, which we can put towards our bank loan because at the moment our bank loan is sitting on 250 grand. So uh, we also need to, I still need to do some, uh, uh, find somebody who is willing to sell us manure so that we've got manure running for our greenhouses because they are about to run out of manure and I think they're, uh, their water fill level isn't too bad at the moment. So that's something that we'll probably attend to this afternoon or tomorrow in game. So, uh, but other than that, everything else is okay. So thanks for watching this one, guys. If you'd like, please hit like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe. Come and join us on Twitch. Come and join us on Discord. And uh, yeah, let me know about those little questions that I had, you know, in, in interior, exterior, um, uh, all that type of stuff. So, but uh, for now, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.